And I know one person in the Anglican Church of Canada that wishes that she could be here and present is our primate Archbishop Linda Nichols. But unfortunately, another commitment has taken her away from this day, but her words are present. And so I'd like to read her reflection for this moment. It is hard to even find the words to express the pain that runs through our hearts as we have watched with unrelenting desperation at the events in Israel, Gaza, and the West Bank over the past six months. The initial horror of the attack on October the 7th has been added to by the unceasing attacks on Gaza that have killed so many women and children, given license to increased violence in the West Bank, and utterly destroyed the infrastructure of Gaza. Listening to the news every morning, to the rising death toll, the agony of families of hostages, the attacks on hospitals leaving little or no medical aid, the deaths of humanitarian workers, and the inability to find ways to bring humanitarian aid to those most in need, leaves us in a permanent state of keening lament at human evil. The bombardment of Gaza and the destruction of Hamas will not bring peace. The attacks on Israeli settlements will not bring peace. During my recent visit to Rome with the primates of the Anglican Communion, we were received by Pope Francis. In his personal comments to us on the state of our world, he strongly reiterated, wars are always, always, always defeat. We have not learned to love our neighbor as ourselves and find our deepest peace in seeking the common good and serving one another. My heart breaks with the pain of the unrelenting tragedies unfolding across the land of the Holy One as no end is yet in sight. We may have little personal ability to effect an end to the conflict, but we can and must wail loudly and shout out our pain. We must demand more from our government to do what it can to add its voice to that of international bodies for justice and peace and to use its economic and political influence wherever possible. To do nothing is to be complicit. Thank you for your presence here today. The Anglican Church of Canada stands with all who are seeking an, seeking an end to the violence, a permanent ceasefire, immediate provision of humanitarian aid, an end to all exports of arms to Israel and intermediaries, the release of all hostages, and a return to discussions that will lead to justice, recognizing the continuing need to address the illegal occupation of Palestinian lands and the need for a peace that will lead to the thriving all who live in Israel, Gaza, and the West Bank. May God give us the courage to wail and to shout with persistence that peace might come.